not. But that I hate, that I do. Did you see any picture there? Is anybody seeing a picture there? Now, the law is spiritual. See how it functions when it attacks you. Now, the things that I want to do, that is what I find myself not doing. But the things that I don't want to do, the kind of life I don't want to live, that is the life I find myself living. When you are under that law, it turns you upside down. It turns your life upside down. Is anybody here with me? It turns your life upside down. The kind of life that you want to live is what you find yourself not living. Have you ever been in a relationship? You said, before you go into a relationship, you have a plan. If I marry now, see how I'm going to live, see how I'm going to do things, see how I'm going to respect my husband, see how I'm going to respect my wife, see how I'm going to respect my children. Now, that is the plan you have before you get married. But now that you're in a relationship, what is happening? All the plans, which were good plans to plan, now you end up living the other side of it. Instead of respecting your husband or your wife, then you become a thorn on his flesh or her flesh. The things I want to do, if I get to Europe within three years, I should have done this, I should have done that. This is your 20th year. What has happened? Is anybody here with me? The things I want to do, the things I allow to happen in my life, is not what happens. But the ones that I have, rege I have rejected from my youth is what I see happening. What is going on? See, see, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is good. 17. And now, then it is not more, it's not more I that do it, but sin that live in me. Amen. The sin that dwelleth in me. 18. For I know in my flesh dwelleth no good things for the will is present with me but how to perform that which is good I find not <laughs> for the good that I would I do not but the evil which I would not that I do God now if I do that Now 21. I find then a law that when I will do good, evil is present. Did you see that? I find a law that when I will do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my body fighting warring against the law of my mind and I and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is the member which is a member in Isaiah 24 all wretched man that I am who shall deliver me from the body of this our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God. But with the flesh, the law of sin. Did anybody say something there? It kept talking about law. This law we are talking about, that is not the law of God. What does it do in your life? Every time I want to do good, evil is present. There is a law that is at war with my flesh. I love what he said in verse, in verse 23. He said, but I see another law in members, in my members. We are in, oh sorry, warring against the law of my mind. The word war in there means fighting, wrestling, battling. I see another law that is that has engaged in battle 
with the with my flesh. The members there talk about the members of the body, it could be the members of the family, it could be the members of your church, but members. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see the man that is under the law. When the Lord is not pressured, when you want to do what is good, you find yourself doing what is evil. Every time you do things you regret, you should know there is a law that is at work in your life. Can I tell you something? Yeah, this law does not bet you. This law does not love you. This law does not romance you. This law war against you. This war fight against you. It's not a law to bless you. It's a law that keeps you to this endless fight. You battle every day. You fight every day. Praise the Lord. Can I tell you something? Have you experienced there are some certain people that before they get anything, they must fight good. Come on here, are you with me? Before they see anything, even this bag, to buy this bag, it might take them four or five months to buy it. They must fight. The government that people are getting, they bring contract, they bring this. Before they see their own, ah, now what? Different stories here and there. There are laws. Anytime that people are getting something, when it gets your turn, you don't get it. There is a law that is at work in your life. I wish somebody with open heart today and receive a deliverance from the oppression of the wicked law. Oh, come on here. Yeah, I wish I could not pray for somebody right now. He said, that Lord bring me into what? Captivity. He brings me into bondage. When that Lord is at work, what happens? He makes you do things wrong. He turns things upside down. He makes you lose chances and opportunities. Amen. Amen. And that law also has a branch we call foolishness. I talked about it last time. But let me just touch on this more because that is your major problem. Amen. Amen. That law has a branch. That is called foolishness. Foolishness is just a problem. So when you are foolish, you are actually being, you are actually taking part of this law. Even if it is not the full one, but there are some degree of the law that operate on any man that is foolish. Amen. Now I show you something here. Thank you, Jesus. Caroline. Oh, my Now let's see something. First Corinthians chapter 13. First Corinthians chapter 13. Let me be very, uh, be very brief there. Corinthians 13. Is anybody here with me? Alright. Corinthians verse 11. He said, When I was a child, someone say child. The one child here means a foolish man. <laughs> now the baby you can. He means a foolish man. You know why? Because every child is a foolish person. When you are a, a big man, you behave like a child and say something is wrong with you. There are some certain things that your child will do which is foolish, then you accept it. It's a good foolish. Praise the Lord. But not adult. So when an adult, a big man, is a child, look at what happened. When I was a child, as a child, the two, I understood as a child. Three, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Now, when I become when I become a man, it's not like when I become a man, like a full man with a married wife. No, that when I become mature, when I become a sound listener of God's word, when I become a servant of God, when I become a born again, when the word of God has been into my life, when I become a pronounced and profound a child of God, who serve God with a clear conscience, who serve God with a spirit, soul, and body, when I become a child of God, who does not compromise faith, when I become a child of God, who understands some doctrines, when I become a child of God, who can say, I will do this, I will do it, I will not do this, 
He makes you, he confuses you, he makes you do the things that you don't want to do. Then the second one now is that he makes you foolish. Amen. And when you are foolish, you lose some certain things. Now, how do I come out of that law? That is where we go in that place we read. Remember we read Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. We we'll just read that place, okay? He said, what did that place say? He said, there is a law in Christ, remember, that has made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, who are these people that are inside the law of death? Praise the Lord. Who are they? These men, these people who are inside the law of death, who are under the law of this text we are talking about. Psalm 102 from verse 17. Let's see some of them. Carabu Thank you, Jesus. Those under the law of sin and death. The law is about sin and death. Can I tell you something again? Now follow me here. Before we read that place, look up, look at me. Look at me. Any child you see that they, how do they say? They say they initiate this small begin into witchcraft, into some certain cult and all those themselves. It is not easy to initiate a child who is newly born. Is anybody with me? This is a serious matter. When your child is three, four, five years, it's not easy to initiate that child. You know why? Because it takes sin to initiate someone. When that child have not have not sinned, the child never knew what is called sin. Is a pure, holy, righteous child that is newly born. To initiate that child is not possible. But the one that succeeded in initiating are the ones that they first corrupt. Before they will initiate any child. They will first make that child sin. They will provoke the child to sin. Maybe they will call, they will teach the child how to curse. They will teach the child how to thief. They will teach the child how to do party. Only one party that child is doing. They from their enter. The law is a law of sin and death. If you first introduce sin, and when sin take hold, then death will fall. That nothing in your life jaggedness, nothing in your life has life. Do you know that anything that grows has life? Yes. You don't understand. Yes, anything that needs to grow or anything that grows has life. A tree grows because it has life. If you want your money to grow, you must understand that the money has life. Everything that grows. So when Right now, who is hearing the sound of my voice? God is putting life 
have in your family. Yeah, man. Your mother and children are beginning to come back to life again. A life is coming to your mother's children. Your brother and your sister. Then your sister that has been married for years. That she could have a child. I say life is coming to her marriage. Then your brother who has graduated for a very long time now. He has to go to the job. I say life is coming. So family, life is coming. I don't know who are your points are.
marriage. Death in the womb. Death among the children. Financial death. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Whosoever. 